Our next 2020 Pitch Mix Deep Dive will look at struggling Marlins starter Trevor Rogers. Through nine starts, Rogers has a 5.23 ERA, a 1.45 whip, and a poor 11.5% strikeout minus walk rate. Today we'll look at what happened to the promising lefty and whether or not it's time to give up hope. Rogers burst onto the scene last year as a 23-year-old rookie, compiling a 2.64 ERA and a 28.5% strikeout rate in 133 innings. He did a lot of that by relying on a changeup that he threw 27.4% of the time. It racked up a 199 batting average against, 20.2% swinging strike rate, and a 1.28 deserved ERA. Since the changeup is Rogers' only pitch with above average movement, it's a crucial pitch for his success. Looking at the spin direction graphics, we can also see how it approaches the hitter at the same trajectory as the fastball, but has significant arm side run with a 45 degree deviation on the clock, or 36 inches of vertical drop and 13.8 inches of horizontal movement. We can see here how the pairing of the changeup and fastball looks in action. Given the way these two pitches pair with one another, the success of the changeup also makes the fastball better. If hitters have to respect the changeup as Rogers' best pitch, then they're often looking for it, which enables him to beat them with the fastball, which had a 222 batting average against last year and a 33.7% CSW. And now we get into the problems for 2022. Rogers' changeup has not been the same pitch. So far on the season, it has just a 9.5% swinging strike rate and 20% CSW. The movement and velocity on the pitch are essentially the same, and the batting average against is only .204. The pitch is also still inducing a 51.4% ground ball rate and only 28.6% hard hit rate against, so it actually hasn't been terrible, which is why it has a 3.12 deserved ERA. It's just simply not missing bats. Part of that could simply be location. If we look at the heat maps between 2021 and 2022, we can see that Rogers' command of the changeup has not been as refined this year. Perhaps it has to do with the new baseball, which we know pitchers have struggled to grip. There has also been some speculation that Rogers is tipping his changeup due to the higher release point on his fastball than on his changeup. In these charts from Brooks Baseball, you can see that both the vertical and horizontal release points on Rogers' changeup have changed in 2022. What we do know is that hitters are swinging at the pitch less, with a 45.8% swing rate on the changeup in 2022, as opposed to a 59.7% swing rate in 2021. So even though batters are making less contact overall on the changeup, hitters are swinging less overall, which has led to a drop in swinging strike rate. This has put a lot of pressure on Rogers' fastball, since hitters no longer seem to be sitting on the changeup. As a result, the fastball is a 318 batting average against, with 42.6% hard contact allowed, and a 6.89 deserved ERA. So far in May, the horizontal release point on his changeup has corrected, but the vertical release point has yet to. We also haven't even touched on Rogers' slider, which he reshaped in the offseason. Last year, the pitch had just 1.7 inches of horizontal break, but now he throws it almost 2 miles per hour slower, with 10.3 inches of run. While the swinging strike rate of the pitch remains around 15%, this year the pitch has given up less hard contact and has a slightly better deserved ERA. The added horizontal movement also allows it to pair nicely with the changeup, as you can see here. Which means everything comes back to that changeup for Rodgers. He really needs it in order to be as successful as he was last year. However, since the movement profile is so similar to last season, I believe there's still optimism that Rodgers can rebound. He's not the 231 ERA pitcher you saw in the first half of last year, but I wouldn't be fully abandoning hope and would be looking to float some buy low trade offers with the projection that Rodgers can settle in as a mid-3 ERA pitcher with a solid but not extraordinary strikeout rate.